Hey, hello and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial by Flowmotion. Today we are going to take a look on how to create a handwriting animation and this time an advanced handwriting animation. Hey, and if you watch this and you like it, then just feel free to subscribe to my channel because the more clicks I get, the more tutorials I can create for you and we all learn from this. So let's directly get started. What I have set up so far is just paper texture. You could just photograph a paper or wall or something where you want your text to sit on. And the next is a text layer where I've just written handwriting. Double click on this. The font is called Two Turtle Doves. It's a free font and it looks like a handwriting. But maybe let's directly get this a little bit better looking. And I'm always doing this kind of stuff with two different effects. I would like to have a choker to shrink and as a second effect I would use the rough and edges to break up all the lines here that make it look like it's not a real handwriting font basically. So let's get started. Let's bring out the two effects. Choker, the, take the simple choker and the roughen edges. Let's bring this before the simple choker because the simple choker just chokes the font like you would expect it, negative and positive. But when we bring out the rough and edges before, we get kind of random looking font. And now we could, for example, choke this until we really break up parts. Then we duplicate this. And with the bottom one, we may want to go back with this tweak the rough and edges. Let me solo this because the rough and edges you could create something like when you paint with ink, the ink would somehow soak into the paper and you can do that with the scaling in combination with the stretch. Because you could stretch this in one direction or negative, now we get those small fine detail lines which go up and down. And in combination with the second effect, this already starts to look nicer. And let's just play with the opacity here. Okay, let's bring paper again. This already looks nice, but let's tweak this a little more. I'm pre-comping this and call it text and move all attributes into the new composition. So we just have one composition with our text. Now I'm duplicating the paper and this is just setting up everything that it looks nice and then we can start animating. So for the paper I want to create a black and white image. So add a levels effect to this. Try to get a lot of contrast and I tint it to make it black and white again or gray shaded so to say. Precompose this. I'm hitting Control Shift C for comp by the way and I call this displacement map and I'm bringing out the effect called displacement map on the text and what the displacement map is doing wherever we have gray values it leaves everything as it is and where it's brighter it distorts it in one direction and where it's darker it distorts in the other direction so for the horizontal and vertical displacement we want to have the luminance and we want to have the luminance of our displacement map that we just created now we could increase or decrease that. I'm just going pretty low with those values. Maybe we could also stick to the defaults, which is 5 and 5. And of course we want to bring up the original paper again. 
And maybe for the text, just go down with the opacity a little bit. You could also look for a nice blending mode. Overlay it looks quite nice, but I would just duplicate it and And now we came up with something that really looks like it is written on that paper here. Let's pre-compose this and call it our final text and hit OK. And now we need to click on that collapse transformation switch because the blending mode gets lost when you pre-compose something. When I'm clicking that you can see that our blending mode is applied again. So now let's just start with the fun part which is the animating. Let's just write it like you would write it with a normal mask on your text layer. And I'm just starting around here. And while I'm at it you see that I really draw the lines like I would paint it. So all the directions and the flow is like my handwriting now. That's the first two letters. Let's apply the stroke effect to it because this is makes this thing work. And we want to have a stroke that covers the letter. So let's just increase the brush size. And this also helps when you have it like at eight or nine then you can fine tweak your points and have a look that all your letters are covered or the black part of this font is covered and you can always go back by clicking on the last point hitting G to get the pen tool and start painting again So maybe make this make this just a little bit bigger to cover more parts. And now you have the option in your paint style and this is the important thing about this tutorial to reveal the original image. Boom, there we have it. Let's go with the brush hardness to 100 and we can now just animate start and end. So I'm going to zero. Set a keyframe at the zero seconds mark, go forward like four seconds, go to 100, maybe make this a bit faster. And this is what we are going to learn in part one of this tutorial. If you want to watch the second part of this, I'm going further and then I'm going to show you how you can add a pen to your animation like I've done it in my final result, animate a 3D camera and give this a final awesome advanced look. So see you in part 2 of this tutorial and thanks for watching.